good to know him. I was sitting over there meditating, thinking, praise the Lord, about the Godhead. Man, it's good to think about that. Praise God. What Jesus did, what God did through Jesus. Amen. To let us know if we want to know the truth. To know that He is a supernatural God. And I was thinking about healings and everything that goes on in our land and how people have made their own statements and, and they made them in church and people grasped a hold of them and they're as far from the truth as the truth can be. God works in supernatural ways. Amen. Supernatural manifestations. Uh, and if we get anything from God, it's going to be by faith. Amen. He said without faith, it's impossible to please God. Amen. Whenever that anybody came and in the four Gospels, whenever that Jesus was uh, fulfilling the law, whenever that anybody came to him, it was by faith. Jesus said, as your faith be, so be it unto you. Jesus said, do you believe that I'm able to do this? It was by faith. He had to touch a man one time twice. Touched him and said, well, you see, he said, I tree, see men as trees. He touched him again. Uh -huh. But the woman that touched him with the issue of blood, she had to touch him by faith. Uh -huh. uh, it, it instructs us that she went to every method in the land. She spent everything that she had. She went to the best of the best, but grew worse and suffered many things from the physicians. But the Bible says, then she gained faith. In other words, if I can touch his garment, I know I'd be made whole. You can only be saved by faith. It's a supernatural occurrence. People are repeating prayers after people. They're making decisions. You can make a decision to go to church. You can make a decision, well, I'm going to live right, but that won't get you to heaven. You, you can live right all your life. In your eyes, is living right, but you'll not make it to heaven. You must be born again. It's all... It's only by and through the blood of Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. and, and God won't give His glory, He said, to, to no other. So uh -huh. we're not going to be able to do this on our own. Right. We're not going to be able to get right enough to please God that uh, we can come to Him. Come uh, praise the Lord. We're going to have to just uh, uh, do like they did on the day of Pentecost. Repent. Be baptized. In Jesus' name, be born again. Uh -huh. uh, the on. Spirit and the water. Praise the Lord. He's right. a change. And you talk about when the unclean spirit's gone out of a man. Praise God, when, when you go through with the fullness of what Jesus said, uh -huh. you don't have to worry about the occupancy in the house. Come on. Praise the Lord, he'll be in the house. Yes, Praise God, the Bible says all scriptures given by inspiration of God is profitable for doctrine, reproof, corruption, instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be thoroughly furnished. Come he's coming back. He stood there, the Bible said, when they stood on the day when he ascended into heaven. He said, Why the two men of white appear said, Why do you men of Galilee stand here yes. gazing into the heavens? This same Jesus that you see go away. He's coming back again in like manner. And when God comes back, he's coming back in the body that they put on the cross. On. And this world's going to look up on him and they're going to know. Glory to God. Praise the Lord, church. I'm going to tell you what tonight. Bless People's got all kinds of theories and all kinds of ideas, but bless God, when you get your theories and your ideas anchored solely in Jesus Christ, praise God, faith will whim up in you. Glory to God. When you can see Him as He is, uh, praise God as the one that gave His life on Calvary that when they come to the garden uh, uh, to get Him and He said, Whom seek ye? Uh, glory to God, a whole multitude of the Roman soldiers uh, that had been wanting to get a hold of Him uh, and here they come and He just stepped up uh, uh, right to them and said, Whom seek ye? Didn't fear none of them, said, Whom seek ye? Uh, uh, they said, Jesus of Nazareth. He said, I am He in the power. Uh, you know what about the glory to God? He was power, but they couldn't really believe, man. He stand up there and say, Here I am. Amen. Praise the Lord. They went backwards. There was some fear. I believe they had come up on their people uh, when they come after Jesus. And he got up again and see, he said, Who can seek you? Uh -huh. They said, Jesus and now. He said, Did not tell him he? Praise God. And they went back again. Glory to God. They fear, praise God. Yes, if you're not right with Jesus uh, when he gets into place. Amen. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. And it's by faith. Without faith, it is impossible to please, to please God. They that come to him must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Not my reward, not maybe, but that he will reward them that diligently seek him. Praise the Lord. The Lord knows uh, uh, what we need, glory to God, before we even ask. Uh, and he said,
said to come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden and I'll give you rest take my yoke upon you and learn of me he said my yoke is easy and my burden is light and he said you'll find rest unto your soul and if your soul ain't got rest uh, uh, your body ain't got rest uh, you need some soul rest you need some peace uh, uh, you've got to have the peace of Jesus uh, uh, down in you glory to God David said blessed is the man uh, uh, that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly uh, uh, well praise God I see people uh, all the time go to church I uh, uh, sit on the fuse uh, uh, but they're walking in the counsel of the ungodly uh, uh, they're standing in the way of the sinner and they're sitting in the uh, uh, the seed of the scornful uh, uh, but he said your delight is in the law of the Lord uh, and in his law that you meditate day and night and he'll give you the truth he said you'll be like a tree planted by the river of waters bringing forth fruit in his season his leaves also shall not wither and whatsoever he does shall prosper in other words he'll let you know that you're one of his uh, amen praise God not any works of righteousness you've done uh, uh, but it's by the meditating in the law of his Lord uh, uh, glory to God and you can't meditate in the law of the Lord uh, uh, without the spirit of God inside of you uh, uh, it just won't work praise the Lord uh, uh, you might think you are but you're not meditating in his law uh, uh, because when you meditate in his law it uh, gives you the true understanding uh, amen it gives you the right of the scriptures uh, uh, to know what What's come down from heaven uh, and glory to God that you can go back uh, and be with him one day no matter what you've done people says well I've been too mean people says I've done too much I've got to straighten out some things I tell you what if you've got to straighten out some things and you're wanting to do it before you get right with God you'll never get them straightened out and you'll never get right with God you'll go to hell you'll spread hell wide open and you know what you'll go there with them things that you was going to get right waiting still on you praise the lord and people think well when judgment comes uh, just go to heaven or hell uh, uh, but i believe we're going to pay the penalty praise the lord glory to god he said some men sins go beyond on before and some men follow after i praise the lord uh, our sins better be under the blood uh, amen i don't have to try to understand how that uh, he could forgive such an old uh, slothful person as i was uh, uh, but he said he forgave uh, and when he said for, he forgave, I, I felt the presence of the forgiveness come in. I, amen. A supernatural manifestation I, on the altar that night. I, I, amen. Praise the Lord. Close to 30 years ago. I, and it's still good tonight. I, I, they preach this. They preach that. I, I, but I just look at them because I, I might swabble on the rock. I, I might have erred. I might have made mistakes. I, I, but thank God I'm still in the fold. Amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. I'm glad that he uh, chose me and I didn't choose him. He chose us before the foundation of the world. Thank God I'm glad I read that and understood that. Uh, amen. That I was already on his mind, not, not just while he's on the cross. Uh, uh, praise God. Just like Jeremiah before he was in his mother's womb. Thank God I was known about. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. You might not understand some things I say. Uh, but bless God, you need to read and you need to follow with the Lord. Uh, amen. It takes a relationship. Uh, uh, amen. Praise God. Yes, sometimes the devil uh, uh, will come in like a roaring lion. Uh, uh, but the Bible says the Spirit of the Lord will raise up a standard against him. Uh, uh, I thought about this. Praise the Lord. Uh, uh, thoughts try to get into your mind. Uh, 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 he can only bring the thought. It's up to you whether you entertain the thought or whether you get rid of it. It can't stay if you don't want to keep it there. Praise the Lord. We're all born in sin, conceived in iniquity, shaven in iniquity. Praise God, we're all born that way. We didn't have a choice about it. You know, a man might say, well, Lord, why? 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 I didn't have nothing to do with that. Mom and Daddy brought me into this world. I ain't done nothing wrong. Praise the Lord. But <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> Glory to God. And now we've got to make restitution for it. Praise God. He said, you must be born again. You've got to make a choice. You got to choose in whom you're going to serve. Spend most of our lives without serving the devil. Praise God! Then it gets hard to realize that we got to make a change. Amen. Most people go way down through life and get way up in years. Amen. They got to make a change. They got. They, they got to have this macho type person's got to humble self down before the Lord. Glory to God and come humble as a little child. You got to humble down uh, to the to the grace of God and you got to come before Him with a repentant heart, with a broken heart and a contrite spirit. Knowing that there ain't nothing you can do with your life. It's done messed up. Mine was messed up. Wasn't nothing I could do with it. Praise the Lord. But I know one when I got a hold of him could. And, and I'd fight it. And I'd go to the altar and this and that. Uh, but the night that he took 
over. Praise the Lord. Uh, uh, thank God he knows your heart. Uh, amen. Praise the Lord. And he knows your thoughts are far off. Uh, and I'm glad that, praise the Lord, when I got the right place in humbleness uh, and, and when I laid it on down, uh, uh, thank God he stepped in. Uh, and there was something come in to me. Uh, uh, praise the Lord. Now listen, he didn't say uh, uh, after it comes in, uh, it'll go back out. Uh, he said when the unclean spirit's gone out of a man, uh, uh, the spirit walketh about dry places seeking rest and find it none. Uh, and he said, well, I'll go back to my house, uh, uh, which I came out of. And he goes back, uh, and he finds it empty, empty, swept, and garnished. Uh, uh, okay, praise the Lord. Uh, it wasn't occupied, but listen, uh, uh, when the right occupancy comes in, uh, uh, glory to God, and sets up his place, uh, uh, glory to God, he's there to stay. Uh, he said, I'll never leave you, uh, and I'll never forsake you, uh, uh, that I'll go all the way with you, uh, even under the end of the world. Uh, uh, well, they say, well, if, brother, uh, uh, there ain't no if in it. Uh, uh, he said, I'll never leave you, uh, and I'll never forsake you, uh, uh, that I'll go all the way with you, through the high places, through the low places, through the valleys on the mountains. He said, I'll stay. I'll stay, and then when that enemy comes back, when that devil comes back, he, he don't even can't even get close to his house because it's full, it's occupied. And man, mine got occupied. People can believe what they want to, preach what they want to. But bless God, I'm not going through this life. Beat down, worrying, wondering if everything's all right. No, I ain't done everything all right, and I sure ain't done that. To, but that's my duty. I ain't even, when I done, I, all I know to do, I've just done that's my duty. Praise God, I'm going to tell you what. You wonder why I preach like I preach? I can't preach to you what I preach like. I've got experience of what I preach. Hey, hey, man, you can say, well, you're a fool. You can say whatever you want to. But bless God, all I can do is tell you about what I know about this thing called salvation, about the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's all I can do. If you don't want to hear me, Paul said, I would that all that hear me this day. Glory to God. Paul knowed that he had the Spirit of God. And you and I better know that we've got the Spirit of God. Uh, and we better know uh, uh, that John Preacher didn't uh, uh, shake my hand and say, uh, uh, repeat this prayer after me. Uh, uh, we better know uh, uh, that they didn't pull us up uh, and say, you're all right. Uh, uh, we better know that we met the Master. Because not everybody that saith, Lord, Lord, is going to enter in. Jesus said this is a born-again experience. Yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Being born again, not a corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of God which liveth and abideth forever. I'm glad. <laughs> Glory to God that you can know for yourself and not another. Praise the Lord. I, I, you don't have to come to the altar. I, I go back out, be baptized. I, and next revival, come back I, and go to the altar. I, I believe if you did that the first time, I, I, you didn't get what you needed. I, I, praise the Lord. Come on back the next time. I, I come on back the next time. I, I, but I can tell you, you didn't get what you needed. I, I, neither time you come to the altar. I, I, you might have believed the word, received it in your heart. I, amen. But you didn't do nothing with it. I, I, you've got to cultivate that word. I, amen. But when he moves in, I, I, glory to God. I said last night in church, I, I, people preach God don't hear sinners. I, I, but I said you was there. I, I, brother and I had a lot of talks with God. I, amen. When I was a sinner. I, and you know what? I, I, he had a lot talk back. Uh, uh, people can justify and say to themselves uh, uh, with whatever they want to. Uh, uh, God, the holy, righteous God. Uh, amen. I praise the Lord. Uh, if there's anybody I'm going to talk to uh, uh, when I get in a situation like that, uh, uh, and if anybody uh, uh, want to know what a worshiper is, uh, it's one that comes to God. Uh, amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, uh, we was all in the same state. Uh, uh, but Brother J.R., it paid off. Uh, amen. Many times I've laid in my bed uh, and talked to the Lord. Lord, lost and then done without him. I praise the Lord. But you know what he'd tell me I needed to do? I needed to get out of drinking from that fountain of the world. I praise the Lord that he knows. And when a person, they can be bound by a lot of different things. They can be bound by past life. They can be bound by things they've done. Amen. We can be in bondage to a lot of things. But he is the one. That's the reason I preach we need the manifestation of the Spirit of God in the house of God every service. Because that's the only thing a man can deliver. Glory to God. 
that's the only thing that can set you free. I, I see you can think you're delivered I, and you can play the part looking pretty good. I, I've done it before, I, I, but it'll wear off. I, I, it'll leave you. You'll just give up, throw up your hands I, I, because you know that you ain't got what you need. Too many unpositive people in the body of Christ. And man, you know why? Because the devil set up. He set up things. Amen. How churches ought to be. How worship ought to be. He don't know nothing about worship. He exalted himself above the throne of God of Christ. He don't know nothing about worship. He give up his worship part. Praise the Lord. But we need to worship God in spirit and in truth. And not just in church. He's God all the time. He's God 24-7. I think about these that phone line does say you can call us anytime, 24-7. Uh, glory to God, but you talk to a machine. Uh, we got a God you can call 24-7, and he's never busy. Uh, amen. You say, well, let me tell you something, praise God. Uh, you know how big God is. Uh, uh, thank God, ain't you glad he can hear you up here on Hamilton's Creek, uh, and he can hear me down at West Hamlin, uh, and he can hear you up here about halfway. Uh, and you on nine mile, and then just travel all over the world, and everybody everywhere that's calling out on the name of the Lord, it don't clutter, and it can be at 12.01 Tuesday evening at the same time, and it don't get cluttered up, and he can answer and talk to you, and he can answer and talk to you, and he can answer and talk to me, and you, and everybody else. For my natural mind, to try to understand that, I can't do it. And that's people's problems. They they try to understand God with a natural mind. But the Bible says a carnal mind is intimate against God. It's not subject to the law of God, and neither indeed can be. He said to be spiritual minded. I walk in the spirit, live in spirit, and have a spiritual mind. You say, well, how can we do that? And glory to God, do our work. I raise our kids. I go to the store or do anything else. Uh, uh, brother, you can do it. Uh, uh, you can have him state in here uh, and in here. Uh, amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, uh, you can let people know, uh, uh, glory to God, that he's alive and he's well uh, and that he loves them. Uh, I don't care what they're doing, he still loves them. Uh, and he'll love them right up to the end. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. This is a no of salvation. Not an I think so. See, the devil brought it from a no-so to a I think so or a maybe. Praise God, people used to know. Glory to God, you couldn't shake your old ones off of the root. Glory to God, they got what they got and they know they got it. <laughs> Amen, praise the Lord, they didn't argue about <laughs> Glory to God, who was the highest, who was the best, and who was right and who was wrong, because it takes a change. Without being changed, you'll never be right. And I know you say the heads of the heart, but I'm going to tell you what. If you ain't got some feeling down in here, you ain't got the whole heart. Uh, amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, glory to God. I tell you what. Well, when I get troubled, when I do something to somebody, it bothers me real bad right here. Amen. You might say that, but that's the earth part of man. It don't matter. Praise God. I'm still a Christian walking in this body. And if that's part of it, that's part of it. Praise the Lord. We need a conviction all over. Uh, I'll tell you what it ought to do. It ought to trouble it from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Amen. It ought to shake your legs, shake your arms. When you do something ain't right with God, amen, or against somebody and it grieves God, when the Holy Spirit's grieved, it ought to trouble us all over, up inside and one down the other. Praise the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. God prepared a way. He said he was in Jesus reconciling the world unto himself. Praise the Lord. Glory to God, I think that's amazing that our Savior, our Redeemer, glory to God, would come to this earth. Praise the Lord. Take a body and come down to this earth. Amen. Praise the Lord for you and me to give his life on Calvary so we could go free, to walk up to the whipping post and let him hold him and strap him. Praise the God and put the root of things on his back and around him for our healing. Glory to God. I think that's a, a marvelous thing that the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords would do for me and you, that we can have victory. Victory. We sang the song, Victory in Jesus, but bless God, do we really claim the victory. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, brother, you've got to grow in this thing. Yes, you've got to grow in the grace and in the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ, but thank God, someplace in life, people were to get up a little bit of knowledge and get to moving on with the Lord. Praise God. I see people all the time with the same old testimony. Amen. Years down the road, same old testimony. Thank God, but 
I'm going to tell you what tonight. There ought to be a new song lighting up in our, our spirit daily. Praise God. We ought to be getting excited about what we're doing and we shouldn't be ashamed. Praise God that we're servants of the Most High God uh, because He's coming back. And I thought about this, bless God. When He comes back, He's coming back after those that are looking for Him. Praise God. He's going to appear to them a second time without sin unto salvation. Praise the Lord. It don't matter. Uh, when we think about family, they go on to uh, God said he'd save my whole house. Praise the Lord. Uh, but I'm going to tell you what tonight. I, 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 I pray that my house be saved. I, I, I'm talking about my children, my grandchildren. Uh, uh, but bless you forevermore. I'm not going to turn my eyes off of Jesus. Uh, uh, because he said, remember Lot's wife. Uh, uh, she looked back and turned to a pillar of thought. Uh, I want them all to be saved. Uh, uh, but Brother Larry, whatever they're holding, uh, if they've got something looking at me and holding it, uh, uh, that's between them and God. Uh, ain't a thing I can do about it. I know every one of us uh, uh, in our own statements and in our own ways of life uh, had said something, done something that hurt somebody. Uh, amen. Maybe caused them to think, well, you ain't no Christian or, or you don't love her. And when they're thinking in the carnal mind, uh, it's not hard for them to think that. Uh, uh, but I'm going to tell you what tonight. Uh, I can only pray for him and ask God to draw him to him. Uh, I praise the Lord. But he said, uh, uh, though Job, Daniel, and Noah be in the land, uh, yet will they only deliver their own soul. Uh, uh, thank God forevermore. And you know what? Tonight, Moses was a great man. And the Lord said a prophet, he said a prophet, I will the Lord raise up unto you, like unto me. He was a great man. Abraham was a great man. The Bible says by faith, uh, Abraham moved uh, and we're the children of faith uh, uh, through Abraham praise the Lord uh, and Shadrach Daniel Shadrach Meshach and Abednego uh, uh, they were great men of faith uh, uh, praise the Lord and Gideon and you could go on down the line uh, amen David uh, amen praise God and go right on and right on uh, uh, great men of faith uh, uh, but you know what tonight uh, I can preach to you about every one of them uh, and none of them will get you saved uh, uh, praise God it's Jesus Christ uh, uh, the Lord of glory. Uh, uh, he's the gospel. Uh, he's the good news of glad tidings. Uh, uh, praise the Lord. Uh, uh, it's good to look at somebody else and their faith. Uh, uh, but what about your faith? Uh, uh, they obtain faith through that. Uh, uh, we need faith in Jesus Christ. Uh, and if our faith in anything else, uh, uh, if it's in the church, if it's in the pastor, uh, uh, if it's in, in somebody else, uh, it's in the wrong thing. Uh, uh, because, listen, we all uh, are going to get old if we're blessed to live the old years. Years. And if we don't wither away, and if we don't get feeble, nevertheless, one day we're going to breathe out our last breath. And we're going to give up the ghost. And you know what you can call the best preacher? I've heard them say, I've heard them get a preacher. They say, now, preacher, you're preaching good. You're preaching good. Hey, Amen. You're preaching your life while you live. And it don't matter if anybody else knows your life or not. God does. And that's the only thing that's going to count. <laughs> Amen. You could gather up a whole number of the city of West Hamlin. Amen. Come in and look down and say, oh, he's a good fellow. Oh, he's good. <laughs> Some of them say, oh, they went to church. <laughs> Some of them say they was Christians. <laughs> but all they can see is on the outward part. <laughs> uh, they can't see the truth on the inside. <laughs> Amen. But God, <laughs> he's a looking into the heart of man. <laughs> and he knows, glory to God, Brother Larry. <laughs> Uh, this is for you, for me, and whosoever will. I, I said, let them come and take the water of life freely. Uh, sing the song, don't nobody else go. I'm going to go too. Uh, I'm going to follow Jesus. Uh, uh, praise the Lord. Uh, it's got great benefits. Uh, and I've got to the age uh, uh, that I can start reaping over some of my benefits. Uh, amen. Uh, in Christ, they don't wait till uh, uh, glory to God, he comes back after you. Uh, or they don't wait till you breathe your last breath uh, uh, in this plan of salvation that I'm in. I, I bless God these benefits I, I, that you can start reaping on in this life. I, I, people say what they want to, I, I, but I'm reaping from the benefits I, I, that are in the Word of God. The Bible says all. I, amen. Ever promises of God are yea, I, and in Him, amen. I, and it says He's no respecter of person. I, I said He'll not do for one, I, I, but what He'll do for another. I, I, but He does say you got to come to me by faith. I, amen. You You've got to come. Uh, uh, when they come, uh, hey amen, there was many of them in the land in that day. Uh, uh, they was many blind. Uh, and I'm made to believe tonight uh, uh, that they was more God healed uh, uh, than what the Bible records. Uh, I believe there's more blind, more lame, more healed, uh, more because he said all to come to him. 
Uh, he healed them. Uh, and it says if all the things he had did would have been wrote, uh, uh, the world itself couldn't contain the books that should have been written. Uh, I bet you I'm going to tell you what he said. He couldn't do no mighty works around his own hometown except lay his hands on a few sick folk and heal them. Uh, but bless God forevermore, uh, I believe he healed multitudes. Uh, uh, that were blind, that were lame, that were uh, halt uh, and maimed. Praise the Lord. But you know what? Uh, it only has to record one incident uh, of a blind man being healed. Uh, it only has to record one incident uh, of a woman with an issue of blood touching him and being healed. It only has to record uh, I uh, just one incident, and that's enough uh, uh, to let me know uh, that he's no respecter of person. Uh, and if I come to him, uh, he'll no wise cast me out. The Bible says, except you eat of his flesh and drink of his blood, there's no life in you. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. You've got to eat of this right here. He said, my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. And you can't get it without the Spirit of God. You've got to be born of the Spirit. That's just going to sum up uh, what I'm saying about a supernatural when you get born again. Amen. You receive the Spirit of His Son in your heart, crying out the Father. Now, He said the words I speak unto you, their Spirit and their life. But when His Spirit moves in you, bless God, you get the Spirit of the living God. <laughs> and the Bible says it's that same Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead dwell in you. He that raised Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal body. Now, Amen. You might think, well, he's going to let me shout and let me run. That's good. He does. <laughs> but it'll change you. <laughs> Amen. It'll quicken your body. <laughs> you won't be the same. The Bible says if any man be in Christ, <laughs> he's a new creature. Old things are passed away. <laughs> and behold, all things are made new. <laughs> I preach a positive gospel. <laughs> Paul said we're not of them that draw back into perdition, <laughs> but we believe under the saving of the soul. <laughs> oh, you say, well, <laughs> I've had people say you think you can't backslide. <laughs> Bless God. There's a lot of people uh, uh, going to church regularly that are backslidden. Uh, I say anytime you slack on prayer, uh, anytime you slack on worship, uh, anytime you slack on anything you're doing for God, uh, uh, you're backing up. Uh, amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, and people say, well, uh, uh, can you lose your salvation? Uh, uh, no, uh, I don't believe you can lose it. Uh, uh, let's go. Why? Because Peter said, uh, have you faith, virtue, virtue, knowledge, knowledge, temperance, uh, temperance, patience, patience, godliness, godliness, brotherly kindness and the brotherly kindness charity. He said if these things be in you and abound, they'll make you that you're neither barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. But he that lack of these things is blind, can't see afar off and forgot that he's been purged from his old sins. Now praise God that's purged from the old sins. But you're still going to have to look at the master. Uh, the one that purged you. Uh, the one glory to God that you forgot. Uh, uh, that done a work in you. Uh, and i got to stop right there and leave that with him. Uh, uh, because that's no judgment for man. Uh, uh, that's judgment for God himself. Uh, and I'm not going to step into that rim. Uh, and try to be God. Loose forgotten trouble. Uh, amen. For trying to get above God. Uh, uh, for trying to exalt himself above God. Uh, and his doom is coming. Uh, and it's now around the corner. Uh, uh, but you and I we're still, uh, uh, we're still blessed uh, uh, to be in this land. Uh, and people fear about houses. Uh, uh, they fear about the economy. They fear about uh, all this stuff that's going on. Uh, uh, the Bible says, fear not man uh, uh, who can kill the body. And after he's killed the body, uh, uh, there's nothing he can do. Uh, uh, but rather fear him that's able to take body and soul uh, and cast him into hell. People getting afraid rejoicing in the gospel. People worrying about it. Hey Amen. He says that praise God he'll make even your enemies to be at peace with you. If you worship. We've got to bring that down into a small place. We keep that up into the nations. Hey Amen. It's for nations. This nation was like that. Praise God we was doing good but now it's a drop. But praise God let's bring it down to an individual household. Praise God your life and your mind and my life. Praise God. Amen. If he made me a promise, he'll keep the promise to me. Amen. Praise the Lord. If he can put his people in Goshen in the land of Egypt and bring plagues on Egypt and not touch the land of Goshen, his people, praise God, he can do me the same way. He can do you the same way. He don't have to gather us all in one little circle in one little land. Amen. Because he can do it at your house and he can do it at my house. And I believe that with all my heart. I believe I serve a God. Amen. He'll keep his promises. And if I'm obedient and willing, I believe I can eat the fruit of the land. Amen. And praise God if I'm obedient. 
He said he gives his gift of uh, the Holy Ghost to all them that obey him. I believe if you obey him, you don't have to back him. I don't believe you have to bribe him. I don't even believe you have to uh, give money to get it. I believe if you're just obedient, I believe you'll have the goodness of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Too many people are laboring, trying to get something. But all they got to do is just turn loose and be obedient. Amen. Too many people trying to get saved. And all they got to do is just believe. Just come with a broken heart and a contrite spirit. All the things that I did in the past before I got saved, amen, the devil comes around and starts to bring that thought to my mind. I said, no, devil, it's under the blood. Can't bring it back out from under the blood. All them sins, when I came to that altar, God forgive it, they're, they're under the blood. They're gone. Far east, east, from west. Now, since I got saved, what about that? He says, I write a little tune and say, but if any man sin, we have an advocate of the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous, who's faithful and just. If we'll confess our faults, be faithful and just and forgive us from, and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Praise God. Why do we go to the altar? Why, why do we do what we do? Amen. Where's them sins at? Where's them things at, them ignorant things? Since I got saved, they're under the blood. Amen. Why are they under the blood? Let's go because I got a spirit. And the Lord said he chastens those that he loves. Praise God. And if we don't have chastisement, we're the bastard not having a father. But the Lord will chastise those that love them. People want to look at the natural sins of the flesh, the running around with women, the drinking beer, the telling the jokes. And they want to look at all this stuff. And boy, I'm telling you, people better start looking toward the Spirit. Praise God forevermore. <laughs> that ought to be a thing in your past, <laughs> the natural things of your life. <laughs> Amen. When He comes in, He cleanses us. <laughs> Amen. That, that right there is enough. <laughs> when the unclean Spirit's gone out of a man, He's gone. Now, why does he say mortify the deeds of the body through the Spirit? Amen. Start putting some right things in there. Glory to God. I tell you, he's a good God. Amen. But see, people don't want to do that. People don't want to give up their little little fun things they do. Ain't nothing wrong with them. Ain't nothing wrong with them. Praise the Lord. But you just got to talk to God about that because that's personal. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you right up front, that's personal. When he gets right down into it, my convictions and your convictions, that becomes personal. Amen. Somebody said, well, what's sin for me, sin for you. No. The Bible says, if any man seen something to be sin to him, it's sin. I'm going to talk with God. I'm going to walk with God. I don't care what man says. I don't need to get along with man. I need to get along with God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Because, listen, one day he's coming back. You know what he's going to do? He's going to come back after he's on. I don't want to be in a bunch of organized thinking, well, we've got it all fixed up right. He's going to get us. No, he's going to pick out of that bunch because they's going to be righteous in all of them in Jesus Christ. I tell you, he's good. Do you love him tonight? Praise the Lord. Do you believe that you can come to him and ask him for anything and he would not turn you away? Do you believe that tonight? The Bible tells us an illustration about if you'd ask the Father, if the Son would ask the Father for an able to give him a fortune or ever how it goes, no, you give him good things. And our Heavenly Father is the same way. Praise God. I tell you, we're way down in time. And you know the only way you can get the truth of the true church that you've got to go in the Spirit to get it. Amen. You can't get it from men's commentaries. You go back and find history and look at it. But the best way you can get it is to go to the Word of God. In Jesus Christ. Let that Spirit discern to you what is good. But anything not of faith, sin, all unrighteousness, Amen. But it's by faith. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. You've got to come to Him by faith. Praise God. He don't cast you out because you're weak in faith. But what did He tell His disciples? He said, oh, you have little faith. Oh, you have little faith. They said, why couldn't we do it, Lord? Because you're unbelief. Jesus upbraided for the hardness of a heart and unbelief. Why? Because the women come and said He's risen. The man He walked with and told them, three days I'm going to raise again. Three days I'm going to be back. They took him down off that cross and took him to the tomb, and they watched him. They watched him, praise God. And then when the women went to the tomb, and he had risen, and he told them, said, Go tell my disciples and Peter that I'm, I'm risen. And where to meet me at? And they went, and they doubted. You know, I think about that when you preach sometimes in church. I think about that. Boy, can you imagine? We shouldn't get sore because people doubt. Because here's Jesus come back to his disciples. And them women had said he's risen, and they doubted. And he had to upbraid them with their heart and his heart and unbelief. And you know, I don't think he just got them over and patted them on the shoulder and whispered and talked real low to them and said, Now listen, boy. No, I think he got a little sharp to let them know 
Oh, praise the Lord. They'd walked with him. They'd seen his miracles. They'd seen the things happen. Why does the devil want to miss the most miraculous things to quit happening in the body of Christ? If you don't see it, you'll doubt it. Somebody tell you about something you ain't never seen, you'll doubt it. you got to see it. Most people got to see it. But thank God I've seen a bunch of them. Praise the Lord. And I ain't going to doubt it. And I want it to happen more and more and more. And we can have a move of God in our land. We don't need a, a revival. We just need a move of God in our land, in our hearts, in our homes, in our lives. Glory to God. We need to proclaim that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Ain't you glad tonight? Praise the Lord. I thought about this. I thought about, boys, you know, the Bible says to praise the Lord. To enter into his house with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. And I'll slap myself if I ever get into it. As I think about this, we can sit just as numb as a, not on a log. Till some dark place to get up and then we start hollering everybody else that will be praising the Lord. If I can't practice what I preach, I ain't going to preach what I don't practice. If I can't come in his house and praise the Lord, amen, if I got to come to the house of God to study the message before I get up in the pulpit, there's something wrong with me. Ain't nothing wrong with looking back to the Word and God giving you something to go to, but I think that we ought to be the leaders in praising the Lord. I, th I think we ought to be adoring that, Brother J.R. I think, praise God, that people are following the leadership, and praise God, you can't, you can't do it. I preached that to some boys one night in a revival. I didn't preach to it, testified to them. Praise the Lord. If they sit there like a knot on a log, and then when it comes their time, they'll get up and start hollering. Everybody ought to be a praise in the Lord. You ought to come to the house and pray. Hey, man, it hit home, glory to God. I ain't ashamed. I don't get to preach many places, but I ain't ashamed. I'm going to tell it. Hey, man, praise the Lord. The body of Christ has got to be strong. It's got to be alive. And people need got needs. They need to be saved. They need to be healed. They need to be delivered and set free by the power of God. Don't you love him tonight? Y'all come to sing a song. Praise the Lord. It's individually our choice on how we see God. There ain't nobody can make you do anything. And if you do anything because somebody else, and Jesus ain't in it, you're in the wrong direction anyway. But I'm going to tell you, you can freely worship him. In spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. He's seeking after worshipers. Praise God. He always sent the singers out before the battle. Amen. He always had the praisers ahead of things. Come to church and get your praisers in order. Church will work. Amen. Whatever you need, it'll, it'll be there. I, 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 I don't believe nobody will come to the house of God with a need. If they'll praise Him and the house is in order, to what it won't, they won't have it before they leave. Amen. Praise God. It's not my thoughts. It's not your thoughts, but it's the Word of God. I got a lot of my thoughts. And J.R., sometimes I hear people preach and it changes my thoughts. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the Lord just speaks to me and changes my thoughts. Mm -hmm. Praise God. But I can tell you this, and I can tell you with a surety. Amen. Praise God. Thirty years ago right at, the Spirit of God entered into my heart, crying to have a Father. I got up. I wasn't crying. I wasn't shouting. I just stood up. But boy, I know there was a difference right here. I know there's a difference right here, and there was a heavy burden lifted. I didn't even know that I was delivered from alcohol till the next day, but I know that the Lord was okay with me. If He took me okay with me, and I went back and drunk that bottle, that would still been all right because it was okay with Him. But it wasn't okay with Him. It wasn't okay with Him, and He won't be okay with you and Him. He'll deliver you. He'll deliver you. But see, I didn't know it till the next day. And I'm going to tell you, 30 years, I've been ridiculed, I've been talked about, I've been mocked, I've been put down. I've been through a lot of things. Just like Jesus said, in the house of my friends, they wounded me. Right in the house of my friends, I, I've, been, I've been battled. And I've been, I'm talking about for years, but back before y'all was even old enough to know what it was all about. But you know what? I don't have an all against nobody. It wasn't right. And it hurt. They don't have an all against nobody. You know why? Jesus said he wouldn't hear my prayer if I held an all against any. Any. I can't do that, Brother Jason. I can't do that. And I won't do that. I've, I'm to the point now that, praise God, the Spirit of God will just take care of things. Amen. 
If you're here tonight, while they sing, if you're lost, you need to be saved. You might say, I saved one time. Better come back and talk to the Lord if you think you're lost again. You better come and have a little talk with Jesus. And could not find Because if you were saved one time, you forgot that you was cursed. You're going to have to look at it. Just by eternal life, never a man spake like that. Man. That's the truth. He said, "Boy, there's never a man spake like that." Man. Had it not been, he's not the truth. It doesn't matter what anybody else says. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Had it not been for he the truth. Had it 